0 divided by 0. Let's see why it's an indeterminacy. To understand this, we need to go back to what division actually means. Take a simple example. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. But why? Because 6 equals 2 times 3. Division is just asking, what number, when multiplied by the divisor, gives us the dividend? But what happens when we try 0 divided by 0? Let's call the answer x. So we're saying 0 divided by 0 equals x. By our definition of division, this means 0 equals 0 times x. So what number x, when multiplied by 0, gives us 0? The answer is surprising. Any number works. 0 times 1 equals 0. 0 times 5 equals 0. 0 times negative 3 equals 0. Even 0 times a million equals 0. This means x could be literally any real number. 1, 5, negative 3, a million, or even pi. They all satisfy our equation perfectly, and that's exactly why 0 divided by 0 is called an indeterminacy in mathematics. We can't pin down a single answer because infinitely many answers work equally well. Now, consider this. The limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x equals 0. This simply means that the bigger x gets, the closer 1 over x gets to 0. Think about it practically. 1 divided by 1 billion is incredibly tiny, almost 0. 1 divided by 1 trillion, even tinier. As you keep making that denominator larger and larger, you're essentially shrinking the result closer and closer to 0. You can verify this geometrically through the graph of the function of 1 over x. As x increases along the horizontal axis, the curve drops down, getting closer and closer to 0. And if you go the other direction, toward negative infinity, the same thing happens. The graph approaches 0 from below. To simplify our expressions from now on, instead of writing out the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x equals 0 every single time, we'll simply write 1 over infinity equals 0. But here's something crucial I need to clarify. Infinity isn't actually a number. Infinity is a concept, not a number you can do arithmetic with like 5 or 10. Let's work again with the expression 0 over 0. We can actually rewrite this fraction in a clever way. 0 over 0 is the same as 1 minus 1, all divided by 0. We can split this into two separate fractions, 1 over 0 minus 1 over 0. 1 over 0 equals infinity. This means our expression becomes infinity minus infinity. But wait, let's connect the dots here. We started with 0 over 0, which we know is an indeterminacy. Through our algebraic manipulation, we've shown that 0 over 0 equals infinity minus infinity. Since 0 over 0 is indeterminate, and infinity minus infinity is also a mathematical indeterminacy. Let's take another look at 0 over 0. We can rewrite the numerator 0 as 0 times 1. So 0 over 0 becomes 0 times 1 all over 0. Now we can rearrange this expression. We have 0 times 1 over 0. We can group this as 0 times the fraction 1 over 0. And remember what we established earlier? 1 over 0 equals infinity. This means our expression transforms into 0 times infinity. So here's the remarkable connection. We started with 0 divided by 0. And through simple algebraic manipulation, we've shown that 0 divided by 0 equals 0 times infinity. Since we know that 0 divided by 0 is an indeterminacy, so 0 times infinity is also a mathematical indeterminacy. Think about why this makes sense. 0 wants to make everything disappear. 0 times anything should be 0, right? But infinity wants to make everything enormous. When these two opposing forces meet, mathematics itself can't decide what should happen. Remember how we established that 1 over infinity equals 0? Well, we can flip this relationship around. If 1 over infinity equals 0, then 0 equals 1 over infinity. Now, let's substitute this back into our expression 0 times infinity. We get 1 over infinity times infinity. We can rewrite this as 1 time infinity, all over infinity, which simplifies to just infinity over infinity. So, 0 times infinity equals infinity divided by infinity. Since we've already known that 0 times infinity is an indeterminacy, so infinity divided by infinity is also a mathematical indeterminacy. Let's take our expression infinity divided by infinity. We can rewrite this as infinity raised to the power of 1 divided by infinity raised to the power of 1. When you divide powers with the same base, you subtract the exponents. So infinity to the first power divided by infinity to the first power 
becomes infinity raised to the power of 1 minus 1, and 1 minus 1 equals 0. So we get infinity raised to the power of 0. This means infinity divided by infinity equals infinity to the power of 0. Infinity divided by infinity is an indeterminacy. Infinity raised to the power of 0 is also a mathematical indeterminacy. Now, you might be thinking, wait, doesn't anything raised to the power of 0 equal 1? And you'd be right for regular numbers. But infinity isn't a regular number, remember? It's a concept that breaks the usual rules. Remember, 0 divided by 0? We can write 0 divided by 0 as 0 raised to the first power divided by 0 raised to the first power. Just like before, when we divide powers with the same base, we subtract the exponents. So 0 to the first power divided by 0 to the first power becomes 0 raised to the power of 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 equals 0. So we get 0 raised to the power of 0. So 0 divided by 0 equals 0 to the power of 0. That 0 divided by 0 is an indeterminacy. 0 raised to the power of 0 is also a mathematical indeterminacy. What about 1 raised to the power of infinity? That's easy. 1 times 1 times 1. Infinitely many times. The answer has to be 1, right? But mathematics has a surprise for you. This is actually another indeterminacy. Let me show you why. First, do you agree that 2 raised to the power of infinity equals infinity? Think about it. 2 times 2 times 2, going on forever. That definitely shoots up to infinity. So we have 2 to the infinity equals infinity. This means 2 to the infinity divided by 2 to the infinity equals infinity divided by infinity. Rewrite the left side of our equation. 2 to the infinity divided by 2 to the infinity can be written as 2 divided by 2, all raised to the power of infinity. And what's 2 divided by 2? It's 1. So we get 1 raised to the power of infinity. Since we've already established that infinity divided by infinity is an indeterminacy, 1 raised to the power of infinity is also a mathematical indeterminacy.